Hey, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, I'll be walking you through Webpool, the online digital music download platform that I use to download more than 3,000 new songs every year. Now to make this easier, I broke it down into three sections. Top navigation, sidebar, and the main section. I also have a bonus tip, including how I turned pool into my personal music player. So let's get right to it. Starting with this top navigation bar and moving from left to right, we've got the sidebar toggle button. This is where you can show or hide the sidebar filters. Since I'll be explaining more about the sidebar later, let's collapse it for now. The top navigation consists of four tabs, the first of which is releases. This is where you'll find all of the music and video content that you have subscribed to. This is what the releases would look like with a pool platinum subscription, which gives access to both video and audio content. This has all of the pool releases, so realize that your view may differ depending on your subscription level. The next tab over is specialty videos. This differs from the monthly video releases. Specialty videos are promo only video classic releases. These are purchases that anyone can download. And once you pay for them, they will show up right here. The next tab over is charts. This is where you will see top 20 charts that are updated weekly for genres like mainstream radio, Latin, country, and urban. As a pool subscriber of any level, you will have access to free content that is found in this charts tab. Every subscriber receives background essentials dinner music, background essentials cocktail music, Nick's picks, and video top 20. And what are these? The background essentials collections are about 30 plus music tracks that are programmed for dinner and cocktail settings. Nick's picks are a collection of 10 hand-selected videos by Promo Only's director of marketing, Nick Han. This list is updated every month with 10 new videos that all subscribers can download. But keep in mind, you've got to download them within the month because after that, they're gone. But don't worry, there'll be a fresh new set of Nick's picks in the new month. Finally, Video Top 20 are the current top 20 videos that are available to download. This list is updated each month. So let's recap. All pool subscribers, whether you're just a $12 per month single genre subscriber or a $100 a month platinum subscriber are given access to free video content each month. And that could sometimes be as many as 30 videos. And that's pretty cool. What a great way to build a video library without having to pay for a video subscription. The next tab is search. And this is pretty self-explanatory. It's a place where you can search for a specific title or artist. There are two options, basic and advanced. Basic gives users a generic search field to type into, and advanced gives five different fields to filter a search. And one quick note on search, the search date parameters are based on when the user started subscribing to Pool. It's not necessarily searching Promo Only's entire catalog. So if you search for a song and it's not showing up, it doesn't mean it's not part of the Promo Only catalog. It just means it came out before your subscription started. Or maybe it's available in another subscription. Rounding out the options in this navigation bar are a couple of icons. The first of these is the music download queue. It's gonna show you what's been queued for download, as well as the progress of those downloads. And finally, the settings button. This is gonna take you into a whole world of customizing your pool experience. I'll probably need to save that for a completely separate video because there's a lot in settings. Moving on to what I'm calling the sidebar or filter, which enables users to customize the content that shows up in the main section. Filters are based off of four categories media type, genre, version, and BPM. Let's take a look at each one of these categories. Under media, you can choose to display audio or video files, or both. Of course, if you only have a subscription to one type of media, then you're only going to see that one type of media. The next category is genre, and this will enable you to search the specific genres. Up next is version. 
which allows you to filter out specific song versions that you don't want to see. So let's say for instance, you only want to see radio and clean edits to ensure that you don't download any songs with questionable lyrical content. Toggling off the explicit option while leaving all the others on will ensure nothing with the explicit tag shows up in your releases feed. The next category is BPM, and this allows you to search a range of BPMs. This could be useful if you are a single download user, and maybe you need 10 Latin tracks that are 105 beats per minute. Well, then you'd be able to use these filters to drill down to that specific criteria. I also want to quickly mention that this black box right here is your pipeline to customer service and tech support should you need any help with Pool. And finally, there's this where's all my stuff message that pops up anytime you uncheck any one of these filters. The purpose is to alert you that you have unchecked something as this would prevent that specific item to show up in your releases. So for example, I currently do not have any filters applied, so everything's showing. But the moment I turn off a video, the message appears. Here's another example. Let's say I wanted to see a result showing only urban releases. I apply that filter, and here is all of my urban content. But later, I forget that the filter is on, and I'm freaking out wondering where are my country releases, where's my mainstream radio? Well, note that the alert message is right here, and you click to expand the filters, toggle everything back on, hit apply filters, and now I'm back to seeing all of my content. All right, let's move on to the main section because that's where all the action is. This section shows you the releases that you have access to. It's organized by the day a particular release or track has been made available. We can see on this particular day, the releases that were available to me. Now within these dates, you have four options on how you wanna see the content. Releases, tracks, genres, and formats. For me, I like to view by release, which will have releases, which includes four releases, such as Modern Rock Video for that month, and the singles that are released on that specific date. You can configure how you wanna view this by clicking on one of the four options here. Next, I wanna talk about these icons right here. There's a play button, check mark, a download icon that's gray, and sometimes you'll also see this in blue, and finally, this letter I button. When you see a check mark next to a release, that means every single track in that release was downloaded. The gray download icon means none of the songs within that release have been downloaded. And when that download icon is blue, it means that a portion of that release's tracks were downloaded. So this could mean you manually downloaded a portion of the release, or this also happens if you have a setting check to not download duplicate releases. Now this I button is one of the coolest features. It's a tool that allows users to see all the different versions of a song. Just click to see the alternate versions and download all the ones that you want to have. And these versions could be remixes, video, intro edits, really just about anything. Now let's talk about this play button icon. This is where you can listen to any song in Pool. Clicking on the play button next to a track will add that single track to a play queue. To add an entire release, click the play button to the left of the release title. And at the very bottom in this black colored bar is a preview player. And this becomes your own personal music player. And I can click here and I can see all of the tracks that were added to the queue. This is where you'll be able to listen and preview the songs you have added. The cool thing is it's not just a preview because you can listen to the whole song. This is pretty much like opening up Spotify and pulling up a playlist and just having music playing in the background. I'll often load up the player with singles and other releases and just listen to it while I'm working at my desk. That's an overview of Webpool from Promo Only. I hope you found this helpful, and if you already are a subscriber to Pool, log in and start downloading some new music. Thank you for watching, I'm DJ Dustin Kanoya, and I'll see you next time online.